Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a beautiful fall day here in Iowa and it's getting towards the end of the season before we're gonna have to put the fun cars away. I figured we would go out and make a three year ownership update video on the GT350R. Um, it's been an amazing car, so we'll go for a little POV drive here. Um, we're gonna meet up with the Siouxland Mustang Club today and go for their last cruise of the year. So let's go for a quick walk around and we'll go for a drive. Well guys, this is the uh, longest tenured car on the channel now. Um, three years with the uh, 350. Um, it's one of those cars that you hate to get rid of. So I said this with the Boxster that I wasn't getting rid of that one. But uh, we were freeing up some space for some other cars with the Boxster. This one is just a super special car being the uh, R model. And I just love the black and red. It looks so good um, with those carbon fiber wheels and all the ground effects. Just one of the best stock looking Mustangs ever in my opinion, guys. Well, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the 350s, but uh, you really can't beat it. The ground effects, the big splitter in the front, the wider fenders here, the carbon fiber wing out back on the 350R just such a cool car and then you add in the engine that flat plane crank v8 the sound is just on another level guys all right guys pov drive in the 350r So good. tunnel pass here for you. We're ready. <laughs> oh my. I mean you buy a 350R just for the engine and that sound alone guys. It's so good. It's so good. So we have about 7,700 miles, a little over that, on this thing. Um, we picked it up when it had 3,500 miles. So we've put about 4,000 miles on it here in the past three years. And uh, this year it hasn't seen a lot of driving uh, because the Z06 has been getting most of the attention. So about 1,500 to 2,000 miles per year we put you know decent amount on that first year and then uh, it's it's delegated to a nice day driver so I don't ever daily driver it um, plus it has sport cup twos on it still and those tires are just sticky they just pick up and throw rocks like crazy so eventually we're gonna get the the pilot sport 4s's be a little better for uh, tram lining and uh, throwing rocks hopefully out of those 
those 4,000 miles. We really haven't had to do anything uh, warranty wise when we first picked this up, when it was delivered, the uh, windshield wiper switch wasn't working, the wipers weren't working. Um, but we took that into Ford and had that fixed under warranty and other than that, we've been good for the three years. Um, I did purchase the extended uh, Ford warranty um, and that actually has one more year. No, to take that back, two more years. So we did get a uh, five year warranty extension. So we'll be good for two more years for warranty work. Um, done a couple oil changes. And the only modification we've done to this, guys, is the E85 kit. And if you guys are in the market for doing an E85 kit on a 350, just do it because it is so noticeable. I never thought that it would be that noticeable on a naturally aspirated engine, but it's crazy. It is a true 30 to 40 wheel horsepower gain um, if you're running the higher percentage E85. Um, I'll have a link down in the description for my E85 install video if you're interested in that. But it's just angrier with the E85. Noticeably angrier when you do full throttle pulls. And not to mention here in Iowa, E85's in abundance wherever you go. And it gets uh, not as good a gas mileage, but who can who's counting gas mileage on a 350 whether you're running premium or e two dollars cheaper than premium i'll take it Other than just keeping an eye on oil levels to make sure we're not low on oil because these things like to use oil that's about all i've had to do on this car guys so you hear horror stories about the 350 engines and i just think as long as you're uh keeping up on the maintenance doing your oil changes checking the oil level every uh, couple fill ups you'll be fine this 350R is a 2016, so the first year they came out with them. Not the first year, they did make a few in 2015, but the first high production year. So this thing's eight years old already. And still feels like a fairly modern Mustang. You know, it's not an S650 uh, like the new ones with all the screens but I actually prefer still having some analog gauges and switches, physical buttons. It's definitely aged gracefully. And the looks, like I said, one of the best looking Mustangs out there, even today. be interesting to see if they end up coming out with another Shelby version from Ford. I don't know if they will. Having the dark horse. It'd be nice if they did, but you know they're not going to come out with another voodoo engine with the flat plane crank. That was uh, the swan song for V8 Mustangs in my opinion. At least naturally aspirated ones. 5.2 liter. 526 horsepower 8200 rpm guys that's what makes it so special some 
thousand shifts for you guys. Angry, so angry. Sticky, sticky. All right, guys, we're gonna make a little uh, cruise through Stone State Park here before uh, we meet up with the Mustang Club. Got some cool roads in here. You can't really go too fast, but still this time of year, uh, fall with all the leaves falling, it's pretty cool. Let's 
see who all showed up for the last cruise. Go check it out. GT500 sitting out there. Didn't want to come in the parking lot. guys that's gonna about do it for the three-year ownership review of the 350r we're about to head out and do some cruising with the siouxland mustang club so stick around if you want to watch that footage otherwise like and subscribe stay tuned for the next video have a good one